What is up, Neophytes? My name is Alan, aka Neocryptor, and welcome to my overview of Streamlabs OBS. I have been using it now for, um, well, I want to say since it launched a few months ago, and uh, I it keeps growing and keeps getting better and keeps getting better, uh, and it is probably the best streaming uh, software out there, at least in my opinion. I mean, you have Bexplit, you have regular open broadcaster software, both of those are good options. Streamlabs OBS takes it to a different level and makes it just so simple to get up and streaming. Uh, on uh, somewhere on this page here, it actually, I or well, at least it used to say, uh, you know, get up and going within like, oh uh, yeah, super easy setup and go live in 60 seconds. That is no exaggeration. It only takes a couple of minutes to get things going. Uh, so I've completely nuked my installation of OBS or uh, Streamlabs OBS. So we're going to set that up and I'm going to show you exactly how quick you can go from not having you know anything set up to streaming. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. I have a direct link here, which will be down in the description down below, by the way, oh, bam, there we go. Uh, uh, by the way, just to let you know, that is a direct link. It will automatically start the downloads through Labs OBS. It should open up this page for you, though, so you know it's you know it's legit. Uh, but it's a direct link because it is an affiliate link. Uh, don't get me wrong, Streamlabs costs or OBS costs absolutely nothing, zero zilch. I don't even think there's anything you can buy for it. Uh, but they're promoting it right now, and any, every time somebody uses uh, my link to download it, they give fifty cents to me and 50 cents to charity. So it's a really good cause and it also lets you guys help support the channel if you guys are interested in doing such. So yeah, uh, just thought I'd give you the uh, heads up there with that. Okay, so it's down downloading. Done downloading. Hi, my name's Neo. I can't talk, but we know that. So let's go ahead and bring it up and get it installing and take a look here. Let's see, standard user agreement, blah, da, 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 da. You can read it on your own time. Um, I've already read through it once. I'm not reading it for you, but feel free to read it on your own. It's pretty standard stuff. And we're going to go ahead and install it to the default location of C program files, Streamlabs OBS. And let's let the installation begin. Cue installation music. I thought I had installation music. Hey, hey, do we not have installation music? No? That's it. We're going to work on that budget. Jeez. Can't count on anybody around here. Wait, it's just me. Crap, I'm talking to myself. Okay, so it's done. Now we can click finish. And bada bing, bada boom, bada bomb, bada bang. It's going to check to see if there's any updates. And then it's going to open it up. And the first thing you're going to see is here, sign into your Twitch, YouTube, or Mixer to continue. We're going to go ahead and sign into my second Twitch account here. I think I remember what it is. I think it's Neo. I, I'll tell you the story about this one some other time. Supreme Cryptor. And then I think that should be the password. Hey, look at that. I remembered it. Awesome sauce. Okay, so we're going to log in here. And the reason I'm doing this is because Streamlabs has, uh, if you have scenes set up, it backs them up automatically to the cloud. Which is awesome because that means you can take your, you can install Streamlabs on any computer and it'll automatically have all your scenes and your settings and everything right there. So no recent events. Uh, Streamlabs just hit one hundred thousand dollars in merch sales. Ooh, check that out. That's pretty cool, right? All right, so let's go ahead and go ahead. We're on the dashboard. We don't need the dashboard. So let's go ahead and close you. Okay. Authorize. There we go, continue. I don't know, it was glitchy, a little glitchy there. So if that happens, it pops up that alert screen, just close it and sign back in, you're good to go. So scene collection, import. We don't have any scenes to import, so we're gonna hit continue. Uh, we, you can import directly from OBS if that is something that you would like to do if you already have OBS and you have scenes set up that you prefer. Um, you can just click that button and import them. I'm going to do a fresh start here. Um, so automatically it's gonna want you to add a widget. So let's go ahead and just add an alert box to the default scene and call that good. Now, next it's going to ask you to optimize. It's gonna check your internet and check your connection to the various Twitch ingest servers. Uh, and it will 
and you know, look at your computer too, and it will recommend what it feels are the best specs for you to stream at. And so far from what I've seen, it's not wrong. It gives you some really good setups, at least it, or specs. At least it does with uh, my computer and my specific setup. So we're detecting location. We figured it out. We are performing a bandwidth test right now. It's gonna go through that, boom, and done. So it's got everything set up. We click next. Now, here is, you know, pretty standard what you guys should know if you use OBS. Uh, right here, you know, this is where you set up your scenes. This is where you add your sources. Uh, up here, though, you might notice there's a couple other things. Dashboard. This will take you to your Streamlabs account. So you can manage your all your widgets, your donations, your, you know, check your subscribers, API settings, donation settings, all your widget settings, everything without having to actually go to the website, which is really, really convenient. At least I, 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 I love it. Uh, you have your themes, and this is the cool part. So like, here you go, you have a bunch of built-in scene themes and a bunch of built-in widget themes that you can go through and um, widget themes being like your stream alert and you know your donation alerts your subscriber alerts follow alerts etc alerts your i gotta use the bathroom alert no that's not really a thing it might be a thing i don't think it's a thing though but <clears throat> it's so easy to install and get things going so i i actually kind of like this one this is new i have not seen this one so let's see oh and there's animated scenes and non-animated scenes uh, we're gonna go ahead and go with this one though you can go in here and take a look and you can see the animations like uh, it says your name is animated and has that stuff and you know the stream starting is animated and the be right back is animated uh, to install it literally all you gotta do is click install wait for it to download it and within a couple of seconds it's going to go boom bada bing bada bam and it will switch over to the actual scene back to our editor view Give it a moment. My computer's saying, we're gonna take our time since you're not using Streamlabs OBS to record this. Blah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, here we go. We're on the, uh, you know, the starting soon. We have our live scene right here, which it has a background as an example. You can just, you know, delete it like it says, or you can turn just turn it off. I usually just turn it off. We have an intermission scene, uh, which will have your chat box and you know, stream labels, donations, all that in there. Be right back, etc. Oh, that was a very nice transition. Let's see that again. Oh, that's cool. I, I really like that. That is very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So yeah, I mean, from here, all you gotta do is really go over to your live scene, go and say, all right, let's add a new source. Let's add a game capture. If that's your deal, we're just gonna call it game capture. Capture. We are going to drag it down. So it is above that background and below everything else. So now your game will be in the back. Um, I can't show you the webcam because the way webcams, my webcam works on my system, if one application is using it, it won't work with anything else, but your webcam will show up right in here. It's already preset up for it. So you're good to go there. Uh, let's go ahead and go back over to the themes real quick. And now let's take a look at the widget themes. So widget themes, you know, you have your alert box or goals. You can sort everything by what you're looking for. What I want is an alert box. I want goals and, goals and donations and uh, viewer count. Those are the ones I usually use the most. So we have the, you know, our other one's kind of greenish. We can go ahead and I th say, check out this neon stripe one. Let's go ahead and go ahead and just say, we want the alert box. You can select what you want it to install. Um, from this drop down menu. So I want the alert box, I want the goals, and I want the viewer count. So there we go. And now if I click install, it's gonna do the same thing and it's just gonna install them all right here. Um, here's our, here is a sample goal it looks like. I don't have a goal set up, so I don't know why that's showing at the moment, but hey, whatever, it's all good. Now, let's test some of the alerts. So if you look down at the bottom here, uh, we have test widgets. We can click there, which will make that fly out. And then we can just click and do a test. So there we go, we have a new. Oh, that's kind of cool, I like that. So that's your follower alert, subscription alert is probably the same thing. I clicked apparently that too soon, but hey, whatever. 
Uh, let's do a donation. New donation. John, for $4. This is a test donation for $4. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it is so simple. And then really the only thing you have left to do is you can come over here to your live uh, scene. Um, and you all you really got to do is, you know, click go live. Now it's going to bring up what you want to title your stream. We're going to call this random test of goofy this because why not yup and we're gonna add you up on there we're gonna call it IRL so do that and confirm and go live and bada bing bada boom you are now live you have your chat over here uh, so if you have a second monitor you can just drag everything on over there and you know you can you can use your chat like say sup BAM uh yeah okay let's try that again i think it wasn't sure what it was in yeah see there we go chat works uh you can do everything you can do in chat so slash raid uh neo cryptor let's do that so unrecognized command i thought it was slash raid is it not is it exclamation point raid neo cryptor let's try that uh, I don't remember what the raid command is, but anyway, all your chat commands and everything works because this is literally pulling the Twitch chat straight from the website and putting it in. Uh, you can also switch sides that you want it to be on. Um, in the settings, you can tell it to be over on the left side or the right side. Uh, while you're in this live view here, uh, obviously you can switch scenes all you want. Um, easier to do if you set up hotkeys. We're not going to go into a lot of those settings today. I just wanted to make this quick and brief kind of tell you guys about it, show you how to set it up uh, live actions so if you have the wheel widget configured credits uh, stream labels etc you can control all that from right here uh, and on your dashboard anytime you have a uh, donation a new follower aside from getting an alert it will all be listed right here in chronological order for you to read through it so very handy very 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 cool little thing right there Let's go ahead and close that. And as you can see down here at the bottom, it's telling you your CPU usage, uh, which mine's a little bit high right now because I'm using another piece of recording software to record, uh, telling you guys about this. It tells you your current KBS and what you're streaming at, your dropped frames, your FPS, everything right there. Pretty cool, pretty handy. Uh, let's go ahead and you know end the stream because, well, why not? because it doesn't need to be there. I don't need to actually be streaming to show you th this. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look into the settings. Uh, as you can see here, it's all pretty well laid out. You have your general settings, which is your confirmation dialogues, uh, things like that, the optimizer, the uh, stream label session, everything like that. You have your stream, it's gonna say stream services, Twitch. And by the way, when you automatically, uh, when you signed in through Twitch, it grabbed your key your stream key and everything and went ahead and inputted it in for you so you don't have to worry about that pretty cool but you know you have your twitch you have regular streaming services which all this is all the ones that it currently supports which i believe uh let's see uh restream yeah that's what i was looking for it uh, it supports restream which everybody say hi to my wife who coughed in the background say hi sunday Okay. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you have all that uh, right here. You have your output settings right now, and this will show us what it's set to. It set my video bit rate to 6K. It's using my NVIDIA encoder. Audio bit rate is set to 160. Um, so, you know, those are all the settings for your output. We are in simple mode because, well, really, you don't need it to go anymore. I mean, if you go into advanced, it opens up a few other things that we don't really, I, we're not going into right now. We'll go into those in another video. Uh, but we have our audio settings, we have our video settings. So, you know, we're at 1920 by 1080 is my base canvas resolution, aka my desktop. Uh, and it scales down the output to 720p, which is what, you know, it, it's recommended, I suppose. Uh, and then you have your hotkey setup, which you can set up for each and every scene uh, and in your uh, setup. So, yeah, that takes a bit. Again, another video. We have our your advanced, so pretty much everything that is in OBS proper is here. Plus, we have scene collections. We can export overlay files. We can import them. We can import widgets, etc., etc. You can tell it if you don't want to back up your scenes to the cloud. You can tell it not to. Your notification settings. 
your appearance where you can set night mode or light mode. Oh, my eyes. I'm bleeding. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> you can show the live, uh, you know, this is where you switch the live chat over to the left, which is the way I prefer it. You can set the chat size, your emotes, and then down here, remote control. Uh, you, you can actually, if you have Streamlabs, the app installed on your smartphone, you can actually use it as a remote control for your Streamlabs OBS by coming in here. I'm not going to show the QR code right now for obvious reasons, uh, but you click that, it gives you a QR code, you open up the Streamlabs app on your phone, you scan it, and it connects you to your OBS. And there you go, you have a poor man's Stream Deck without actually having to do anything. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, guys, so yeah, uh, this is Streamlabs OBS. It has a lot of great features and keeps getting better and better. Eventually, I'm not going to be <laughs> eventually. Right now, my workflow, it kind of consists of this. I'll use Open Broadcast through the regular OBS for recording. Um, and, and I will use Streamlabs OBS for streaming. Very soon, I will be using Streamlabs OBS for everything because the one thing that keeps me from using Streamlabs OBS uh, for recording, which is probably a very, 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 uh, it's probably me being too technical and having liking way too much control over things. But uh, in, in the regular OBS, you can separate your microphone and all your other channels, your audio channels. So like, you know, you can have your microphone record to one, one audio track. You can have your game sounds record to another audio track. If you have it set up properly, uh, within your system, you can have like your your voice comms, Skype, Discord, TeamSpeak, whatever, record to a third track, which is the way I like to do it. That way, I don't have to worry about trying to balance levels before I'm record. You know, when I'm recording or before I start recording, uh, that way I can just balance them all out in production while I'm editing. And so, yeah, Streamlabs OBS does not have that yet. Uh, I have spoke with the devs recently. And they are working on that, so that is a planned feature. So as soon as that is in, I'm probably just going to be like, Hi, OBS, I love you. You've been great to me for all these years, but I I'm going with these guys' version of you because it's better. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, guys, this has been Streamlabs OBS. Uh, like I said, there's a download link in the description down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Every time you guys download it, I get 50 cents and 50 cents goes to charity. So yeah, go check it out if you're interested. Uh, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to ask me down below. I will do my absolute best to answer them. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And until next time, this is Neo, and I'll see you in game. Bye.